Tell us a little bit, just briefly, how would you set your bike up for your average World Cup? They're not average, but you know what I mean. Your average World Cup? Well, generally, when you bounce on one of the pros' bikes at a World Cup, it's going to feel horrible. It's going to feel stiff. Rock hard. It's going to feel like you can't really get the bike to move, and you're bouncing around the car park thinking the bike's not really working. But when you're racing down a hill as fast as you can go, taking all these big hits, that's when the bike starts to work. And that's, that's essentially because you guys are obviously putting out so much force through the bike, so much speed and power over the rough stuff, that you need to run it that firm, otherwise you'd just be smashing through it. Exactly, and it's a strange situation where the bike only works when you really start to trust it. So when you're really putting those forces into it, yeah. you know, that's when it, it kind of comes into its own. And the race runs, you know, as soon as the rider leaves the start gate, they're going so hard at it. 